What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going for a budget custom Air Force One video where essentially we're gonna be spending $20 to get a full custom sneaker. Now I've seen a lot of people do these videos. You guys have probably seen a lot of them, but not all of them show kind of the price breakdown to where you could do it for a super cheap price. So today the goal is $20. We're gonna be starting from scratch from everything from the paint to the buckets to everything. We're gonna show you the whole process. Now the first thing you have to do is start with a pair of shoes. Now we're gonna be going for the all white Air Force Ones. You guys might even have a pair of these already at your house. So for you, you might not have to worry about that. But we're gonna go ahead and get a fresh pair of those for you guys. And then we're gonna head to Home Depot, get the rest of all the goods that we need. Let's go ahead, head there now. Alright, so there's two different types of hydro dipping. The most common one that we see online is probably the cheapest and easiest way is spray cans, where essentially you just spray two different colors into a bucket full of water, then you dip the shoe in. That's usually the easiest and the way that the coolest outcome is. Now there is a second way that I've actually purchased a long time ago that I'm going to experiment with today, which is the actual hydro dip film, which you use the special spray, and it's a actual print of something. It could be like a carbon fiber print, it could be some skulls or anything random like that, and it creates a really nice design. So we might be doing something with that, maybe with an older pair of shoes or something as well, because I want to try both. And I think we have it down for the original spray can portion of it. So we're gonna go ahead now. We actually have to get coffee before we go and get this pair of shoes. So let's go to Starbucks real quick. Get started for you. Hey, can I get a grande iced coffee with classic sweetener and light cream? Absolutely, what else for you? That's it, thank you. This video is brought to you by Rejuvenator. If you can't see the code right there on the wall, Code Harrison gets you 10% off. If you're unaware what Rejuvenator is, Rejuvenator makes the best sneaker cleaning products. You guys know I talk about it all the time. This right here is their stain repellent spray. You can see, you basically spray that under your shoes and it repels water and stuff like that. As well as they have sneaker cleaning wipes and full sneaker cleaning kit. Again, use code Harrison for 10% off if you guys are gonna get anything to clean your sneakers on Rejuvenator.com. Also link it down below. All right guys, so we managed to stay under the $20 limit with everything that we got. Now you guys don't even have to go out and buy stuff like this. I'm sure everybody has something like this in their house most everybody has some sort of like plastic container that they could do it in you might even have some spray paint laying around especially some masking tape laying around I would say the only thing that most people need to get is paint to go ahead and find a different color and maybe a little bit of primer but we we're able to stay under the $20 now we got to go prep everything because that's one of the most important parts and steps of this is to prep properly and make sure that once you do the hydro dip it's all ready to go so we're gonna head back now start the prep process
All right, guys, I wanted to jump in here and announce our newest giveaway. Since the last Travis Scott Air Force One winner was picked, it is time to announce we're giving away a pair of Nike off-white dunks, some of the most recent releases. Now, this is the pine green pair, my actual favorite pair, but I'm gonna be giving away whatever colorway that you guys want. So, for this giveaway, there's gonna be two ways to enter. Now, first is you have to, one, subscribe to the channel, two, follow me on Instagram, and then three, comment on this picture that's on the screen right here on my Instagram. And on this specific video, if you guys leave a comment on it, I'll give you guys an extra entry. So this giveaway is gonna be going on until the end of the month of January. We're gonna let you guys pick any colorway. This shoe is insane, but again, don't forget the rules to the giveaway. I'll leave them down below as well. So good luck and hope you guys maybe win. Shoes are all taped up and ready to go. We got both pairs ready. Now, for the color of this, we're going to be going for a Ravens-inspired colorway because the Ravens just got the number one seed in the AFC. Yes, I'm a Ravens fan if you haven't seen all of my Instagram. And no, I'm not a bandwagon because of Lamar Jackson. Keep this photo right here of me wearing an Ed Reed jersey or a Ray Lewis jersey from like 10 years ago. Whole family is from Maryland, so I'm repping the Ravens for this right now. This is for their uh, repping them for the upcoming postseason. And then we also got some primer. Now, I hope that this is the right stuff for the particular one we're doing. It says for plastic, metal, more wood. I think it should be good. But one extra little step we're gonna take is use this 100% acetone nail polish remover and rub it all over this material so that it makes it ready to be painted on because the primer is supposed to help with that but we just want to take that next little extra step and use the nail polish remover on this and I'm assuming most people most of your parents might have some uh, nail polish remover if you have a sister or something like that they should have some so you guys can go ahead and uh, wipe it down it just helps make the material a little bit more ready for uh, you know painting so we're gonna do this and it's going to be time to head outside and get ready to spray so we'll get you guys out got all the materials in the car but we're heading outside because it is not safe to do this indoors and it'll help this stuff dry faster in the sun after we primer and whatnot so we also have to go get our masks to put on too. So we got the shoes done. Now it's just time to let them dry for maybe like six to 12 hours. We want them to get fully dry before we do anything, take any tape off. But I think they turned out really good. This is really sick for Raven's Pride and uh, I just am I'm glad to have these for purple and black. It's, it's sick. We're just gonna wait, head up. I got paint on my hands. I should have wore gloves. I'm an idiot for not doing it, but uh, I'll just wash these off and uh, Upstairs. Okay, so these are still drying. They've actually been drying for about a day now, and we're going to move on to the second pair. So we went ahead and got two pairs of Air Force Ones for the second pair, which is going to be the actual hydro dipping material. But that and the other stuff that I have is down in the storage unit. Of course, we're gonna do a price breakdown of that and basically compare because this was about $19 worth of stuff, and this is going to be, I think, about 20 something as well. So we're gonna go down to the storage unit, grab that stuff because we have a lot. I have so much spray paint stuff down there too. So let's head down there, see what we can find in the storage unit. All right, lighting in here is terrible, but we're in the storage unit now. We're just gonna grab the uh, stuff real quick. I have all the old Hydro Dip stuff in here. I don't actually see it, but. All right, guys, I found it. It's under the bare brick boxes all the way back here. All the way back there. Here are all our goods, all our spray cans. I'm trying to get out of here. Before we move on to the next hydro dip, obviously we need to complete these and uh, take all the taping and everything off. It's been about 24 hours. I let them really dry just to be you know, careful. I'm gonna put this to the side. And we're just gonna take all this tape off and hope that it held pretty well. I'm sure it did because I, I took my time with it. We're gonna pull off just one for now and then we'll probably do a time lapse of doing the rest of it because it's gonna take a while. But here we go. Ooh, it looks like we've got some nice lines there. And I wipe that off. Let's take this swoosh off. All right, we're gonna take this swoosh off right here. Yes, it's nice and clean. And we're gonna take off, I guess we have to do it on the other side as well. And we have to take off the bottom tape. And then we have the tongue, which I'm just gonna kind of cut off the back. 
All right, there we go. We got it already. Now we have to lace up. We have to take both of them off. But I think that actually looks really good. I like the way that, that looks. I was unsure about like doing the toe, but it actually had some pretty decent lines. I think they could have been a little bit sharper, but still, I think they're pretty good. I could take some acetone to this too and clean it up. But I do think that that looks pretty good together, the white and the black. Let's grab the other one, take this off, because it's gonna be very similar. This one actually looks a little bit darker in terms of hydro dip. So let's pull this off. Pull another swoosh. Bam, whoosh held well. These are holding a lot better than the first time I did a Hydro Dip video because the first time you, you know, you live and you learn. Here's what it will look like without the toe taken off. I just for, I actually forgot that it was on, but you guys can see it. It still adds that. I think it looks good both ways if we honestly left tape off. This tape did a really good job on the toe part of holding. There we go. All right, let's put these laces on and see what it looks like. All right, so here is the shoe kind of in its final form. There's still a little bit of things. I went through some of the edges and took off some of the paint just to make sure it wasn't going to be overlapping. You just have to be very careful in doing that. Now, Envision, let's say you want a different color than purple. You're not a Ravens fan or you just don't like purple. Watch this. Now, if you go ahead and you just focus, think about some sort of color that you want these to be, and I'm gonna change the color. So you guys ready? I'm gonna flip it like that. It's a magic trick. You guys can see all the colors changing and all that. That's a nice little editing trick. But I think these came out pretty cool. If I did more in the future, I would say probably to get away from the black colors because it, it makes it really dark around the toe right here. I think with these hydrogens before, I did like a really neon colors and that looked cool. But again, there's always more and more practice to be done on this so you can make the edges finer and stuff like that. But I think these came out really cool. All right, so we cannot find the actual Hydro Dip paper. Like, I purchased it, I had it put away in a specific area, it just vanished. So, instead, we're gonna continue on with some more custom stuff for the budget, obviously. We're gonna be doing a few different styles. So, we're gonna be doing some Hydro Dipping. I think we're gonna be Hydro Dipping a Supreme Louis Vuitton bag, and then we're gonna be spray painting shoes instead of doing, like, the Hydro Dip. We have a pair of Yeezy Butters that we're gonna be doing that, too, and then we're going to spray paint, as well, a pair of Air Force Ones, too. We're gonna keep it budget, we use different sneakers. This is something that I did a few weeks back, so you guys will be able to kind of recap and see what it was. Was, but I never showed you guys the footage, so let's go ahead and cut back now. First thing we're gonna start with is this blue teal right here. We're just gonna get these spots. Hopefully it cakes on nice, so we're gonna spray it now. So after spraying this, I realized that what I really should just do is do a full base coat of one color, and then after that dry, start taping and doing sections. I think that makes more sense to me. I can do kind of, yeah, I think that's the best move. What I'm basically gonna do is just spray over the entire thing, make it this teal color, and then once that dries, I'll tape sections off and spray little parts in there, and then it'll kind of be like water. <laughs> little base layer is on now just have to wait for that to dry and then once probably a couple hours then I'll start taping up the different sections bring out the different types of sprays and go from there it's like super windy out right now though so it'll help with drying but it's like putting the spray and everything everywhere <laughs> So I made it down here with the water in the Supreme LV bag. We're gonna be doing that right now. super bright out here, but this came out perfect, exactly what I was looking for. You guys can't really tell right now, but the letters are all here. Once we peel away the tape, it'll be like a perfectly crisp design, so we can see exactly what it looks like. I cannot wait, let it dry in the sun here. We're gonna get started on the next one, so uh, let's go ahead, get going on the next piece.
So again, that footage was from a little bit ago, but it's just cool to show you guys the different ways of doing this. You can do it with the same amount of money for spray paint, everything in the buckets. But if you guys want to see this more in the future, again, I'm not the best at this. I'm learning as I go, but I'm trying to get better at these kind of things. And maybe we'll do something like a designer sticker next, or maybe we'll try to get somebody to make like a really sick custom, like pays me a lot of money to do a crazy custom. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing up.